Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. In this video, we are going to open up some Japanese packs. I know most of you are English set collectors, but we are continuing on this Japanese expedition series. We'll talk with you guys as I go. But we're going to open up these five booster packs. We're looking for the Charizard. That's the big card. But there are other cards in the set that have really nice artwork. I thought I brought some cases with me, but maybe I did not. This kind of sucks. Hopefully we pull the Charizard and it works out to where I don't mess it up. That tends to be rough, rough with things. Here we go. So we're probably getting close to New Year's by the time this video shows. I'm going to say probably what, Wednesday today. Right now it's the day after Christmas when I'm recording this. This week I have, uh, I think my brother, Cody, he's coming in and we will be working on cleaning out my father's house. Uh, many of you know that my dad passed away and we've been sorting through the stuff and man I tell you what, there's a ton of Pokemon stuff. Let me see if I can just turn around. Just gonna, uh, see all this stuff here. It's like all kinds of crazy stuff my dad had that was Pokemon. And I have to sort through it. Gotta figure out what's all going on. So this is recently where I've set up my videos kind of up in this little five foot loft that I have. Keep it out of reach of my kids. That way I don't have to move it every time I want to do a video. <laughs> but I've been setting you know, his Pokemon stuff up here. Most of the stuff I give to him along the way and he just kept it and I was surprised at how much he actually kept. Ooh, Dragonite. That's a good rare. I never liked this artwork, but Dragonite. Who doesn't like Dragonite? I think the first time I remember him appearing in a video was uh video of like in the cartoon was where they were at that lighthouse and he man this dragonite was huge it was like Godzilla size coming out of the sea and he was like singing or something I don't know the jerk scared him off we got Abra another Pikachu always like Pikachu Caterpie Dragonair and oh now we go from an artwork I don't like to literally my favorite artwork in the TCG, this Mewtwo. You know, I don't have a Japanese one in PSA 10 because I always sell my Japanese stuff, but this one looks great. I am going to set it carefully off to the side. That one will be going to be PSA graded for sure. I just, I remember as a kid, I always loved this lightning in the background. Something about it. I remember pulling one from Expedition. <clears throat> I went on some kind of vacation with my parents. We were staying in uh, this little small trailer at White Lake, North Carolina. And I remember I made some friends with some guys there. <clears throat> and uh, he had some Pokemon cards. And he asked me about my Mewtwo. And he was like, yeah, I'd sell it for 20 bucks. He was like, man, if I had 20 bucks, I would totally buy it. But I never sold it. And I'm glad that I did not. Quillfish cool Rattata. Ooh, Magby. Magby had its first appearance in Neo Genesis as a baby Pokemon. I believe there were, there were five rares. You had Sneasel, Donphan, Magby, Elekid, Murkrow, Sneasel. So six rares. And then the rest were trainer rares. I think it was similar to um, Bayset where there were 16 rares, six characters, 10 rares. I may be wrong on the, on the 10 rares, but I know that the, the characters were uh, exactly the same. I can't remember all the trainers. It was like Focus Band, Mary, Super Energy Retrieval. I don't know. I can't remember all. Pokey Gear, something like that. Poliwhirl and oh, Ampharos. Look at that. I still need this one in English in a PSA 10. Ampharos has always been one of those notoriously hard to grade cards, except for Neo Genesis, where it was easy. Man, we're pulling some really good ones. We've got Mewtwo and Ampharos in this set of five packs. We still have one more pack to go to finish out. See if we can finish even stronger. The only way we can beat out that Mewtwo, I mean, we've already pulled the Mew. And we would need to have like that Blastoise or a Charizard. I don't even know. I like the, I like the Mewtwo more than I like the Blastoise. 
Well, it is a hollow. I didn't see what it was. I did see a little sparkle. Let's see what we have. So we have Tauros, Hapip, Coffin. You guys don't forget to like and subscribe and oh, Doug Trio. Well, that's kind of cool because on the English side I need a Meganium, an Ampharos, and a Doug Trio in PSA 10 English on the hollow, hollow English side. But man, doesn't it look like it has extra sparkles in there or something? Look at that. There's a bunch of them. No swirl, but still really cool. And it looks like the condition is good on this one as well. <clears throat> oh, wait. Is that the part of a swirl? Nah, maybe not. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to come out, watch this video, and listen to me ramble. I hope to see you guys in another video. Thanks.